my failures and owning my failures because the gospel has freed me up to do that mirrors what it means to be a man for my wife and my children more so than my successes do. Like when my children get to watch me walk up to mama after I snapped and say, that was me, baby. I'm, I'm tired. I don't, you don't deserve that. That was totally me. Will you forgive me? Thank you, sweetheart. When my son gets to see that, when my daughters get to see that, when I sin against my children, which is often, and I go climb in their bed and snuggle them tight and go, that, that wasn't you, that was me. Dad's just got all this going on and what he did was, man, I have to lean into Jesus, I have to let Jesus forgive me. He's gonna do that, will you forgive me? Like that's such a model of the gospel and of grace that even my failures reinforce what I've been called to do if I'll own them and seek forgiveness. Now, let's chat. Back to my initial statement. Can you not see that where a man does these things, a home flourishes, a wife flourishes, children flourish, humanity flourishes. Where a man is willing to enter the space of sacrificial love. It's not all about me and what I want and what you're going to do for me, but rather I'm going to wring out my life for your good and the glory of God. That a wife is going to flourish grow in her gifts, grow in confidence, grow in an understanding of her beauty, feel safe. Where spiritual direction is set, cultivated, honored, where the word of God and prayer and the reality of God is the climate of the home. The children feel safe and valued and loved, not exalted to the point of idolatry, but loved and safe, where dad works hard to provide, and if mama's got cash, he just works hard to mirror the image for his sons and daughters, that a family's gonna flourish. 